Ready for a transportation revolution? Imagine zooming from Jakarta to Bandung in under an hour, thanks to the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway, launched in October 2021. This project promises to alleviate congestion, unlock economic growth, and enhance the quality of life for millions in Indonesia. Exciting times ahead! Don't miss out! Hit subscribe and like to stay on track with our high-speed updates. Embark on a journey through cutting-edge export as we explore a high-speed rail system connecting four stations – Halim, Karawang, Padalarang, and Tegalwar. Starting at Halim in East Jakarta, enjoy seamless access to the city's bustling center. Karawang, a strategic interchange, not only links Jakarta and Bandung, but also holds exciting potential for expanding the network of other major Java cities. Padalarang serves as a gateway to scenic West Java, perfect for exploring cultural wonders. Finally, Tegalwar in Bandung marks the journey's end, offering unprecedented accessibility to this vibrant city and boosting tourism and economic growth. Unveil the long-standing discussions and visions that emerged as early as 2008 during an Asian investment summit. Contrast Japan's formidable proposal leveraging Shinkansen technology since 2008 with China's game-changing counteroffer, which captivated attention after Joko Widodo's visit to Beijing in April 2015. The competition between Japan and China for securing the high-speed rail project in Indonesia was intense. Japan, with its proven track record in high-speed rail technology, presented a compelling case based on reliability, safety, and experience. On the other hand, China, with its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, offered a comprehensive package that included both financial support and technology transfer. In the end, China emerged victorious in securing the monumental project over Japan. Their offer aligned perfectly with the Indonesian government's demands, ensuring no fiscal burden or debt guarantee for a $5 billion endeavor, a clear win-win situation. The decision marked a significant milestone in Indonesia's infrastructure development and strengthened the ties between China and Indonesia. Unveil the journey from planning to reality, showcasing key milestones along the way. From route permits released in January 2016 to meticulous details such as track elevation, underground sections, and strategically located stations, paint a vivid picture of how this engineering marvel is coming to life before our eyes. The development and construction of the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway have been a monumental undertaking. It involved extensive planning, engineering expertise, and collaboration between Indonesian and Chinese companies. The project required careful consideration of various factors, such as land acquisition, environmental impact, and ensuring the safety and efficiency of the rail system. Significant progress has been made since the project's inception. The construction of the rail tracks, bridges, and tunnels is well underway. Showcasing the impressive engineering feats achieved by the project teams, the stations are also taking shape with modern and functional designs that cater to the needs of passengers. Highlight China's remarkable role in providing financial support for building Southeast Asia's first high-speed rail system, a crucial milestone underlining the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI. Acknowledge concerns surrounding long-term viability due to uncertainties around finances and Indonesia's capital relocation plans while emphasizing that careful planning can pave the way for sustainable success. The funding for the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway project has been a collaborative effort between China and Indonesia. China Development Bank, or CDB, has played a key role in providing financial support, reflecting the strong partnership between the two countries. The project's financial sustainability has been a subject of discussion considering factors such as ticket pricing, operational costs, and future expansion plans. While there are valid concerns regarding the long-term viability of the project, careful planning and effective management can ensure its financial success. The project stakeholders are committed to exploring various revenue streams, such as commercial development around the stations and strategic partnerships to generate sustainable income. 
Ongoing discussions about Indonesia's capital relocation plans and their potential impact on the project's ridership and revenue are being closely monitored. Explore how this transformative project spells economic prosperity for local communities by making regions more accessible than ever before. Showcase potential job creation opportunities both during construction and operation phases, highlighting how this not only improves connectivity but also breathes new life into local economies. The Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway project has the potential to bring significant economic benefits to the regions it connects. The improved connectivity between Jakarta and Bandung, two major economic hubs in Indonesia, will spur economic growth and attract investments. It'll create direct and indirect job opportunities, ranging from construction workers and engineers during the construction phase to service staff and hospitality professionals during the operation phase. Furthermore, the project encourages tourism and boosts local businesses along the high-speed rail corridor. The ease of travel and reduced commute time will make Bandung and its surrounding areas more accessible to both domestic and international tourists. This will result in increased visitor spending, supporting local businesses, and contributing to the overall development of the region. Mention any positive environmental impacts associated with this high-speed rail system, such as reduced carbon emissions compared to alternative modes of transportation like air or road underscoring the project's commitment to sustainability. The Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway project aligns with Indonesia's commitment to environmental sustainability. The use of high-speed rail as a mode of transportation promotes a shift away from carbon-intensive alternatives like air travel or private vehicles. The project aims to reduce carbon emissions by providing a more energy-efficient and eco-friendly travel option. By encouraging travelers to choose the high-speed rail system, the project contributes to reducing overall greenhouse gas emissions. This reduction in carbon footprint is a significant step towards achieving Indonesia's climate goals and promoting a greener transportation infrastructure. Envision the exciting future that lies ahead for Indonesia's transportation landscape. Discuss the government's ambitious plans to extend the high-speed rail line from Jakarta all the way to Surabaya, a journey spanning over 700 kilometers. Emphasize how valuable lessons learned during this initial phase can guide and shape a seamless extension, avoiding past pitfalls and maximizing future success. The completion of the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway is just the beginning of Indonesia's high-speed rail ambitions. The government has set its sights on extending the high-speed rail network from Jakarta to Surabaya, the second-largest city in Indonesia. This expansion would cover a distance of over 700 kilometers, connecting multiple cities and regions along the way. The experiences, challenges, and successes encountered during the construction and operation of the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway will serve as invaluable lessons for future expansion projects. The government aims to apply these learnings to ensure a seamless extension, avoiding potential pitfalls and maximizing the long-term success of the high-speed rail network. As we wrap up this high-speed rail odyssey, let's circle back to the sheer revolution this project is ushering in for connectivity in Indonesia. From Halim's strategic launch to Tegeluar's vibrant embrace, we've witnessed the potential of meticulous planning, community engagement, financial transparency, and sustainable practices. These elements are the key tracks guiding future infrastructure projects in Indonesia. Don't miss the train to progress. Subscribe, like, and stay on track with the future of Indonesian infrastructure.